Yo, what up, guys? I uh, just out here in the garage today getting some shit done. Uh, just want to make a quick update video um, and kind of a little part reveal kind of thing. I got a bunch of goodies. But first off, we got my got my radiator put in here now. Slish is this is in. Uh, I wanted to use this the stock metal shroud, so I did what I had to do to get it to work. Um, it looks okay to me. I mean, some people might think it's jankety, but it works. I got I ordered some polyurethane uh, radiator bushings, and I had to kind of trim them to get them to fit. Um, obviously, it's not quite sitting the way it's supposed to, but I mean, it's working. It's it's pretty solid in here. It's real solid. You can't even move that thing now. I got bushings on the bottom on each side and bushings up here so it's it's held in there good now finished up my transmission lines it's the black lines these black lines so they're running real nice and clean through here got them poking up through here there's this little hole right here I'm gonna mount a tab get a little tab mounted right there so that it's nice and held out of the way I've uh, got my trans cooler mounted. That's uh, kind of an eBay deal. I think it was, I can't remember the name of the company, like Big Performance or something like that. Uh, but it already had AN fittings on it. So it's six AN fittings. Kind of screwed up these fittings a little bit trying to put it on there. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks good. I tried to get it centered and in there good, good and pretty. So I think it's all right. A uh, little we'll preview of what kind of action I'm gonna have going on this whole radiator support, fender wheel. I'm running this, this you know, uh, what do they call these button head screws? I, I would do it up through here, but I can't, they don't make them that big or long enough to do that. So I don't know, maybe someday I'll figure it out. But anyway. Uh, all the fenders, everything. I'm, I'm gonna buy a shit ton of these things. Everything. The fender wells, all that stuff. The fender bolts, everything all throughout this is gonna be all those button head bolts. Like this. This is in here now. I didn't put any sealant behind it yet because uh, I still need, I need to touch up this paintwork. But I just kinda wanted to get it in here and see what it's gonna look like. So all them button head bolts. Um, I had, I couldn't get these tapped out to fit the right size bolt. So I just drilled them out and I'm running 5 16 bolts in here now. So there's locking nuts on the back sides of these. Um, you don't see it, so it doesn't bother me, but I ended up running the stock. I don't know if you can see that, but I ended up running the stock uh, bolts up here, but it's underneath the cowl, so. Really not too worried about that personally. Uh, and I don't really give a shit if anybody else is. Uh, that's, it looks fine to me that way. You don't even see them. So I'm not too worried about it. What mattered to me is I got the dress up through here. So it looks good, looks nice, I like it. Like I said, I still wanna do something with that. And I got an idea, so that'll be in the future. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know what my, my goal is with this whole setup here. I'm running these stainless steel bolts all the way through this, everything, everything. I'm going to try to run as much as I can uh, through the front of this. So, all right, on to some reveal. I know I was talking to Nova 2 Nut, I don't know, like a week or two ago, uh, about AC units and shit. Uh, I told him I wanted to run a vintage air system. Well, here we go. Vintage air system got this from my buddy my buddy's dad i'm gonna tell you what guys i tried to tried to offer him more money but he gave me the hook up of the lifetime man 100 bucks for all this pulled it right out of his 60 i think it's a 65 c10 pickup 100 bucks for this shit man he didn't want it he didn't want it anymore he doesn't like having the ac lines and all that crap all through his engine bay so hundred bucks. I was like, you better believe I'm gonna buy that. And I can't believe how, I mean, he gave me everything. The condenser, over there's the compressor. 
Not sure if that's going to work with my serpentine setup, but we'll see. Uh, yep, there's the dash unit. I mean, this thing is so small. Like, here's my foot. That's like a size 14. That's a That thing is tiny, man. That thing is small. I can't believe that. So that's going to work out real nice. Uh, killer hookup on that. Big shout out to... To Shane there that was a good deal appreciate that buddy he's he's all for he's all for us kids getting our stuff on the road so I appreciate that that's gonna I'm not gonna be putting that in right away uh, that's gonna set me back a little bit so um, that'll probably be after I get it running maybe if if all else if everything works out the way I want it to I'm gonna have this thing on the road by the end of summer so hopefully that works out That'll be a next summer kind of deal. I'll start putting all this in, get AC in this bitch. So here's my next parts. Got my Grand National Smooth Bumpers. These are from gbodyparts.com. Um, they were 190 a piece shipped, a little steep, but I like them, they're nice, but I don't know, they could be a little better made. That's just my opinion on them. Um, they're real light, super freaking light, cause you know, they're fiberglass. But uh, first look at them, and I'll show you the one I'm not I'm not real happy about. I might contact him about this, but see how if you ask me that fiberglass is let me focus in on here. If it will. Whatever. There we go. Fiberglass work is a little lacking. Especially on a support structure. Like are you kidding me? So I'm gonna have to reinforce these babies. We're gonna get some reinforcement going in here, do a little more glass work. Um, I plan on making some custom turn signals in the bumper anyway. Uh, the one I am not happy about, and I'll see if I can't if I can do this one-handed without breaking it more. Sorry for the camera work there, but open the box, pull it out. This is already broken. So like I said, gonna need to do a lot of touch up work, gonna reinforce these bad boys. I mean, you can see how thin it is, but you know, I, what did I expect? It's all fiberglass, so. I might get some, some like steel, some steel bands or something, you know, like some eighth inch, 16th thick or something like that, little two inch widers or inch and a half or something. And just kind of fiberglass them in the back, maybe stiffen this thing up a little bit. If that works, I don't know. Some of you fiberglass guys, you tell me what you think. See if that'll see if that'll help me out. I just damn, hope my camera didn't go flipped over. Uh, see if that'll help me out. You know, let me know what y'all think. Uh, obviously, this all needs it, it needs a little more work than just pulling it out of a box and painting it. So, not very happy about that, but. Luckily, it's all fiberglass, and that shit can be done. Um, another little update. Now, not too many of y'all are running Regals. Most of you guys are on Monte Carlos and Cutlass and all that stuff. Um, and I know that you can get... I know you can get these for your Monte Carlos. I don't know about the Cutlass. Maybe, they're, maybe they'll be the same thing. I'm not sure. Um, depends on the years, but... Anyway, uh, these bumpers, Buick Regal, gbodyparts.com. You know, like I said, not many of y'all running Buick Regals. I know, uh, what's his name, Big Chop? He's running Regal. So, look these bad boys up, man. I love them. They're great. They look smooth. But, got another tour for you, man. I don't know if you knew these, but these are the sequential sequential Grand National taillights. These things, the minute I saw these, I wanted them. I had to have them. Cause these things are sick so there we go we got them they are i don't know they're just they're kind of cool man they're just little circuit boards i'll kind of give you a preview of the equipment they give you i haven't i haven't hooked these up i haven't done anything tell tell you the truth i ain't even brought them out in the garage because look at them things i don't even want them out here man i'm terrified they'll get all messed up but here's the equipment kit so it comes with a lot of stuff. Got relays, wiring, 
No bumpers, connectors, all kinds of stuff. There's instructions. So when I get a little closer, I'm gonna get these put in. You know, obviously I nowhere near ready to be putting this kind of shit in. Um, and the tail lights, it all goes in the tail lights up there. I cleaned one of them up because they were just, I don't know, I was looking at them the other day and I was like, man, them look dirty. So I cleaned one and I was like, oh yeah, that's what they look like. But anyway, there we go. We got that for you. Uh, Gbodyparts.com has these. I only bought the uh, tail light kit, which is, fuck, I think this thing's 280 bucks. The whole kit with uh, the tail lights, the third brake light, and the two front turn signal lights is like 560. And like I said, I want to do some custom turn signals anyway in the bumper. So I didn't worry about that. And the third brake light, honestly, I'm thinking about getting rid of it. So uh, I didn't bother with that. And even if I do decide to run the third brake light, it's only 60 bucks. So not a big deal there. Those front turn signals, though, I thought that was pretty steep for for getting those included. So, especially if that third light's only sixty bucks, it's like, damn, man, I was charging a lot for that stuff, man. So, uh, sorry about the mess. I'm I'm getting started doing some wiring here, so everything's kind of a mess. I just want to do a quick little update reveal kind of thing. So, there we go. Getting it in here. Got them good parts coming. Made in USA. Digitales. Alright, y'all. Later.